this is the math guy, Steve. Let's try solving this equation. So, this one is a quadratic equation, okay? And so, when we're solving quadratic equations, get zero on one side, factor the other side, and try to set each factor equal to zero, if it's factorable. So, here, this one's factorable. It's three terms, but there's not a one in front. So, instead, let's use what's called the AC method, okay? We leave the first term as it is. Okay, got it. Leave the last term as it is. And the AC method says, multiply A times C to rewrite this middle term. Okay, so here if I multiply 8 times C, that's the 4 times negative 6, okay? 4 times negative 6, we get negative 24. Got it. So I need numbers that multiply give me negative 24 to combine to give me that middle term, that 5. Okay, so like 1 and 24, okay, we need whole numbers. So 2 and 12, uh, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. And so the only whole numbers that multiply uh, to give me negative 24 but combine to give me that 5 would be 3 and 8. All right, that means we need a uh, negative 3 and a positive 8 since we have a plus 5 there. Okay. So we write this as minus 3x plus 8x, okay? And so now instead of three terms, we have four terms. And we factor four terms by grouping, okay? So if I group these first two, what's their GCF? What do they have in common? Well, they both have an x in common. So if we take an x off of each, what's left is just 4x minus 3, okay? I right, group these second two. What's their GCF? Well, they both have a 2 in common. So we pull a positive 2 off of each. What's left? 4x minus 3. And now looky, looky, they both got the 4x minus 3 in common. So pull that 4x minus 3 off of each. We get 4x minus 3 times x plus 2 times the parts in front. 4x minus 3 equals 0 and x plus 2 equals 0. And solving each of these separately, we get uh, 4x equals 3. So x equals 3 over 4. Okay. And here subtracting 2, we get x equals negative 2. Okay. So that would be our two solutions to this equation. Okay. Of course, we can check it by plugging it back in and see if we get a true statement. Always remember, math is everywhere.